Welcome to online collaborative tools offered to you by the Graduate Center at Marlborough College. Let me introduce myself before we get started. My name is Lucy DeLabrier and I will be your primary instructor for this course. You can learn a little bit more about me professionally on my website, Learning with Lucy, which you can reach at learningwithlucy.com, remembering that Lucy is spelled L-U-C-I-E. I have been working with Google Apps in the classroom for several years. I am a Google Certified Teacher, and recently I have become a Google Apps for Education Certified Trainer. You'll learn more about these in this course. I am an um, alumni of the Graduate Center at Marlborough College. In the year 2001, I received my Master's in Science in the field of Internet Engineering. My capstone project focused on gender equity and technology. One of the results of my capstone project was an organization that I funded called Tech Savvy Girls. Here you can see a group of young ladies that I had the privilege of mentoring recently. My classroom experience with students started in the field of social studies, eventually went to business education, and in my last few years in the classroom directly with students, I was teaching in the field of information technology. For the past several years, I have been working with students and teachers as a technology integration specialist and most recently as a digital age learning specialist. Here you see some of the teachers I'm working with and my Tech Savvy Kids, a student technology leadership group that I've worked with recently. I'm currently employed part-time at Franklin West Supervisory Union and also at Franklin Central Supervisory Union at St. Albans City School. One of my favorite jobs is being a parent. Here are my twin boys, Adam and Matthew, and Adam's lovely wife, Juliana, on, her, on their wedding, and my daughter-in-law, to be Diana, who will be marrying my son, Matthew, next summer. And here's my oldest son, Ryan, and my two wonderful grandchildren, Simon and Cedar. I'm also a sister. Here are four of us five girls together recently, the youngest one being in California, so we don't see her so often. And as part of an extended French-Canadian family, I have over a hundred cousins. Here are some of us at my grandparents' 50th anniversary many years ago. I'm one of the little ones in the front row. I'm married to an incredible man who you'll get to meet later, and during the summer I practice his dream of living on the road someday by living in a bus on beautiful Lake Champlain. In this course, we're going to be spending 15 weeks learning about online collaboration. We'll start by exploring how mass collaboration has changed the world we live in and created a new culture of learning. Although there are many tools that could be considered as online collaboration tools, We'll focus on the suite of tools found in Google Apps for Education. Why Google Apps? There are a lot of tools in the same category, but Google Apps is the Swiss Army knife of collaboration tools that has recently become a big part of many educational and corporate organizations. If you understand the transformative power of this toolkit and can use it to impact the culture in your organization, you'll be equipped to exploit the power of all types of online collaborative tools. I hope to pr provide you with learning activities that will allow you to experience the power of collaboration using Google Apps. Instead of teaching you the tools and asking you to apply the tools to collaborate, I'm going to ask you to collaborate in ways that will lead you to your learning these tools and becoming an expert collaborator. I see my role as a learning coach who will motivate you, mentor, and match you with the resources you need to meet your learning goals. I hope to stray away from the old monolithic structure of education to experience new ways of learning with these collaborative tools. I will encourage you to share your areas of strength so we can build on them as a resource as we learn together. I also encourage you to stretch and build 
skills outside your comfort zone. I believe that learning should be social and serve the greater community. Let's get started.